Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul from a Goodwill Bins location and three different Goodwills. Uh, we drove about an hour and a half up to Oklahoma City to go to the Goodwill Bins, which has not been the greatest the last couple times and it wasn't amazing this time, but I did get a few good things. So I'm gonna show you what I got from there and then we went to three regular Goodwills after that. So. It's not gonna be a super long haul, but more than just one store. So if you guys wanna put this on while you're doing some reselling tasks, while you're driving and just wanna listen to it, whatever you wanna do, but we will go ahead and get started. All right, so like I mentioned, the Goodwill Bins, that is the only one in my state, has not been amazing the last couple of times we've been, but that's okay because I am going with my husband and my mom up to Denver here in about a week and a half. And so I know we're gonna bring back a ton of stuff from sourcing. So I was trying not to get a ton of stuff. I was trying to be really picky about the things I found, but also I didn't find a whole lot at the bins. So um, there's a couple things that I got that I'm just going to be keeping. Um, so one is this little tiny blues, little stuffed animal. I think it's probably it's around six inches or so. And it is the Thai Beanie Babies. Um, I loved blue growing up. And so I will probably keep this for our future children. And then I did find one other stuffed animal and this is, I believe Pluto, um, but this is the Disney Parks label. And I don't know, he's maybe about like nine inches or so. Um, I looked up comps. I couldn't find anything exactly like this. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be selling it or not. If I do, I'll put something up here about maybe the comps or what I might list him for. Um, but I may also keep him as well. All right, a couple more things that I am keeping um, and not going to be reselling. One is this just gray tank top. It is just the uh, like athletic brand from Walmart. Um, I'm just keeping it for myself as well as this pair of <laughs> pajama shorts. <laughs> um, this is the Secret Treasures line from Walmart as well. And then the last thing that I will be keeping Technically, I won't be keeping it, but I'm not gonna be reselling it, um, is this uh, three-piece outfit. Now, it doesn't have the tags with it, but it has the hangers. Um, they're stuck on the hangers like they would be when you purchase it from the store. Um, I wanna say this probably came from Walmart, I think. It is the uh, maid or child of mine by Carter's. Um, so it has this really cute little white jacket. And then it has this really cute floral uh, onesie and then also has a pair of pants with it as well. Um, so my best friend is uh, pregnant and due in August. So I am keeping this for her. All right, so I am starting to think spring and summer. And so I found this one piece uh, swimsuit. So it does have like the uh, structured bra and then it has a slit in here, but it does have the skirt and then the swim bottom part underneath. Um, but this is Kashyyyk, which I do love picking up Kashyyyk. This might be a little bit harder to see. Oh, no, I, think you see, I think you can see it pretty well. This is the Intimates line from Lane Bryant. Uh, this is simply Kashyyyk and it's a size 18. So it's a plus size and it's really cute. Um, I am going on a cruise with family in June. So if I can get down to this size, this may be mine if it doesn't sell before then, but I've heard plenty of people talk about that swimwear is selling for them now. All right, this is one thing that I found that um, the regular Goodwills were selling and it just didn't sell. So from what I've noticed, a good chunk of what's at this Ben's location is just pure donations. They do pull stuff from regular Goodwills, so I'll occasionally see the signs, but um, they were asking $5.99 for this. But this is just a athletic skirt, um, and it does have a zipper pocket in the back. This is the Libby line, which is Lane Bryant's activewear brand. So that's why I picked it up. I do okay with this brand. Um, if I can get at prices like this or just pull from my own closet, this is a size 1820. So I don't know if the same person donated this. Um, but again, I may end up wearing this. All right. I was pretty excited when my husband found this. It is a Carhartt jacket, but it's not like the typical Carhartt that you would see. I believe this is women's, but it is a white with a fleece hood uh, jean jacket. Now it does have some spots on the back, but I think I might be able to get those out. They're decently light, but they're like right along here on the back. But um, this is a size, let's see here, extra large. Yeah, extra large. And I've never seen this Carhartt um, logo here. It says Detroit Carhartt. 
So I'm not sure about this. I haven't looked up any comps, but um, I'm hoping I could get those stains out and list that. I did find a couple pairs of jeans that I would have picked up. Uh, two of them were made well, but one had uh, a hole in the crotch area. And then uh, the other one, I think also had some holes somewhere. Um, but I did pick up this pair of Adriana Goldschmied or AG. This is the uh, legging ankle, super skinny ankle. And if you haven't seen skinny pants and skinny jeans will be a spring trend or expected to be a spring trend. I did a collab with Melissa from the Thrifty Broad and Veronica from Veronica Mitka uh, here on YouTube. And we actually just posted it a couple days ago. So I'm gonna link my video up here and then you guys can also go check out their videos. But we talked about expected trends for spring so this was one of them it is black so not super colorful but i think this is perfect to pair with a really bright top or maybe a tunic something like that uh, but skinny jeans and skinny pants still sell for me um and this was i believe a smaller size no this is 28 kind of mid-range size <laughs> um but yeah so i picked these up goodwill was wanting 8.79 for them I spotted this and offered this to my mom, but she did not want to take it home, which was completely fine. So I ended up picking it up. This is kind of an orange peach-ish uh, short sleeve shirt. Now what's really cool is it has these cutouts here. So a lot of uh, breathability in it. So this was North Face, women's size large. I don't do too, typically too well with um, North Face, but I figured this was lightweight and we're coming into the season where short sleeves are going to be wanted again. And so it was a decent size, size large, and I got it as, at bins prices. And then these two items I found, one in a bin and one <laughs> was stuck underneath the wheel of that bin. So uh, I don't know if it was the same person or what, but this is a pair of Athleta pants and they're just black, but they are newer. And the reason you can tell they're newer one is because of the style name is on here. So it's the Salutation Jogger, size medium. The other way you can tell is when you look at the material tag, it should have this very back teeny tiny tag. And this one says that it is from fall of 21 is probably when they went to sell it, but it was produced in July of 21. So um, only about, what, six months-ish old? Um, that's their logo on the back. And these were in really good condition, so I did pick these up. And then this was the one that was stuck underneath the wheel. <laughs> I saw this and I was like, oh, that looks like a really pretty purple color. And it, when I felt it, I could tell it was quality. So it's just a long sleeve uh, top, but this is Athleta size medium as well. Um, and then this one, let's see here. This one was the same fall of 21. It was produced in May of 2021. So I think uh, probably someone donated both of these, but they were in really good condition and being under, under the wheel didn't really affect this in any way. It was just kind of a tiny little bit. So I think it fell off and someone kind of pushed the bin just a little bit and it landed on it. But those were what I got from the bins. But those were the items that I got from the bins on Saturday. Saturday was incredibly busy. It's always busy on Saturdays, but they've reduced their hours on Sundays. And so it's not really worth it for us to go up there. Plus we have a really favorite uh, burger place of ours to go up there and it's closed on Sunday. So it works out. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna show you what I got at the very last regular store we went to just because I got the fewest things from there. So I got one thing for myself and two things to sell. So the first thing I got for myself was this really cute um, like candy corn glass dish. Um, I believe from this, it looks like it's either Walmart or Target. It just says Halloween on it, but um, I did pay $4.79 for this, but I thought it was a really good size. It's like the size of my head and I don't have a whole lot of Halloween like kitchen decor. So I got this to put maybe a dip or something like that in. All right, this one, my husband did fine. However, it didn't have a tag. So when I asked her how much it was gonna be, I think it was like $5.79 or $5.99, but it is the Marmot brand. This is a men's size medium. It is a orange, um, kind of like subtle striped, short sleeve button up shirt. It's in really good condition and I do love selling Marmot. All right, and the last thing I got to sell from that location, my mom actually found she really likes this location because of their dress selection. Um, but she said she hasn't been doing quite well with this brand recently and asked if I wanted it. And I said, heck yes. So uh, this is Athleta. It is a size small tall, but I'm gonna try and maybe post a uh, stock photo if I can find one, but it is a black uh, maxi dress. So, ooh, here we go. <laughs> 
Um, this is very similar, and I think there might be a small little stain right here, but I will be able to get that out. I don't think that's going to be an issue, but it's very similar to the uh, Topanga jumpsuit. It's that type of material. Um, I actually have the Topanga jumpsuit in my closet right now for sale, and I have one myself, but um, this is sleeveless. I think it'd be great for the transition because while it is sleeveless, it is a darker color. You could pop some, maybe some like really bright heels or metallic shoes, which is another spring trend. Um, you know, you can pair it with that, but this was $8.99. All right, we are just gonna be working backwards. So I'm gonna show you what I found at the second store I went to. Uh, my husband actually found quite a few things for me at this location, but this was the first one he found. It is a Tommy Bahama, which this person just had it dry cleaned. <laughs> Um, but it's gonna be a little bit hard to see, but Tommy Bahama, it is an extra large and it's hundred percent silk. Whenever I pick up Tommy Bahama tops, they sell really well for me. If they are about 70, 75% or more silk, or if they have a, um, a Hawaiian print on them, but this is kind of a reddish, um, almost kind of a pink red short sleeve button up shirt. And they were asking $5.99 for this. I found this in the tank top section and it is Athleta. Um, it is a size large and this is a tank top. I want to say this is something like the Zephyr, Zephyr tank top, um, but it has a really pretty kind of dark blue, purple and black print. And this was $4.99. All right, I did find one Patagonia piece. So this is a blue, two-tone blue striped long sleeve top. This is a women's size small. It's a Capeline three mid-weight uh, top. And they did not have this marked up. They only had it for $6.09, which is their typical long sleeve shirt price. And then I found two short sleeve shirts by this brand. It is Alpha Elite. I've only found a couple of items. Um, I haven't had enough experience with it to determine if I want to continue picking it up. But these were decently cheap and in pretty good condition. This is like kind of a oatmeal, um, sand color. Now it does have some wrinkling here in this one line. I'm not sure what that is about, but I will definitely steam it to get it out. This was only $3.89. And then right next to it was, oh, this one. They're both size medium. This one is just a red short sleeve shirt. And this one was also $3.89. This was uh, an instant pickup for me because I just sold this exact same top. Um, this one does not have a size. The other one was, I believe, a size 10, but I can easily measure it. It is a blue uh, heathered long sleeve shirt. And this is Lululemon. There we go. Um, and then this was 609 as well, but I think the one that I sold sold for around 25 to 30. So. I do love picking up Lululemon. My husband also found me this, and this is We The Free. It is a size medium. It is a kind of tan and black striped, oversized long sleeve top, and it does have a rounded hem. It is kind of a lighter weight top, um, so I think it'd be great for transition into spring. And then I did find this House of Harlow 1960, which is a Revolve brand. It is a fuchsia pink, uh, just lightweight top. It has these really cute sleeves that it has um, kind of a puff here. I wouldn't call it a really a ruffle, but more kind of just a puff. And then it has some light, uh, light crochet uh, sleeves here. But this is a size extra small and comes for around 40 to 50. Uh, I only paid $5.99 for this. All right, and then my husband hit the jackpot in the men's section. Um, he found a ton of marine layer, which I love picking this brand up. This was a size medium short sleeve polo shirt. This was $5.99. This one, if I can unfold it, is a size small and it is a striped long sleeve top and this was $6.09. This one is a size medium. It's also striped, just different colors, long sleeve top. And this was $6.09. This one is a button up uh, size small long sleeve and it was $6.09 as well. 
And then this last one, the top button on here was like hang on by a string and I was trying to see if it was still attached or not. And when I touched it, it just came off. But we do have the button and my mom is lovingly going to be sewing it back on for me. So no harm, no foul. This one is a size small as well. So I think most were small except for one. This is also a long sleeve and this one was 609 as well. So I can't wait to see how all these do. These are kind of basic pieces, but this brand has always done really well for me. All right, so now on to the very first store we went to, um, but the last store that I will be showing you guys what we got today. I am gonna start with the one item that I paid up for. <laughs> um, this is a cool k-u-h-l it is an outdoor kind of um hiking just outdoor type material uh, brand but this is a women's uh sherpa lined full zip vest i believe it's called the diane maybe diana something like that uh but i will put the name of it right here comps were around $75. I did pay $14.99 for it. It was a size medium, but if you guys ever see this logo right here, um, I would definitely look into it. I just, I was hesitant picking it up because of the price, but I looked up comps and they seemed to do really well for me, uh, for other people. So hopefully it does well for me. Now this is kind of going out of this season, but again, this brand has done always done well for me. So we're going to hope for the best. I did find two new tag pieces. So this is Zaya Active. It is a size extra large. And if you ever see this moon logo that is there, so this is the Poppy Copper Charge Tank Top. It was new with tags. And it was $4.99. And then this, I have seen this, I've got picked up this brand before. I actually talked about it in a recent uh, video of mine, I believe the what sold video. I don't do too, too well with it, but this was new with tags and it was just, it wasn't just like a basic color. It has a really nice print to it. So uh, this is Iviva, which was Boo Lemon's kids brand, which is no longer made, but I loved this print. It's just a basic tank top size seven, but it was new with tags. This is the Keep Your Cool Racer tank top. And originally it was sold for $28, but I paid $4.99. I'm hoping to get somewhere around $20 for it because it's no longer made and it does have the tags, but uh, we'll see how we do. All right, I did pick up one item for myself. So um, this is Nike, if you can't tell from that logo, but it's black, but then it has this really pretty blue and pink um, trim on it. These are just some basic activewear shorts. Um, and so I picked these up for myself for $4.99. My husband did find me two other items, uh, or actually just two items. I think there's only two at this location. So I actually have sold this exact shirt before. I don't exactly remember how much I got for it, but I'll put it down below, but it is a Marmot um, graphic t-shirt. And this is a size uh, large and I paid $3.89 for it. So I was real happy about that. And he found this uh, Horny Toad, which is now called Toad & Co. Um, I picked up both the older label stuff and the newer label, and it both does well for me. Um, this is a gray kind of um, floral graphic long sleeve shirt, and it is in a size medium, and I paid $6.09 for it. Then I've been trying to here a little bit clear of um the sweaters the jackets but uh, clearly I found the cool um vest but I did find three Lululemon uh jackets pullovers uh one I offered to my mom and she took and then these other two I picked up so this one is a green um and then it has like kind of like black striped here let me show you in the back it's a little bit easier to tell but here uh, like kind of like leaf floral print. Um, so this is a full zip um, jacket. There's that logo. And then there's the one on the back. Um, now this is a little bit older because it doesn't have the style number on here. And I don't actually remember on this one if I found the size or not, but I do know on this one I did. This one is a gray and pink full zip jacket. Um, Again, don't know the style names or anything like that, but there's the logo on that one. This one, the zipper does have a little bit of wear to it and the zippers for um, the pockets do as well, but just the pink is rubbing off a little bit on the zipper pulls. But um, yeah, so um, I don't know. 
I think this one has a size dot in it though. Okay, so this gray one is a size eight, but they were both just $7.99, which my Goodwills in my area would have definitely marked it up. So I did pick these two up and, um, you know, for that price, I was willing to pick them up. All right, this brand I've been very hesitant to continue picking up because it's just not moving the same for me, but these were 100% wool, so I wanted to pick them up. This is Rag and & Bone, and this does say handmade in New York. It is a size 27. I don't know if this brand has anything vintage. I don't know when it was created or anything like that, but these are a pair of gray 100% wool trouser pants. Um, they were in really good condition, no holes. That's just a speck of fuzz, <laughs> um, but uh, a decent size. And I don't know, I just wanted to pick them up, see how they do. They were only $5.99, so I was happy to do so. All right, and the last item my mom actually picked up and offered to me and I went ahead and took it. Um, it is a pair of Torrid. These are a larger size. Uh, I think they go up to a 28 or a 30 and this is a 26. It is a pair of light wash denim jeans. Now, from the look of it, these were intended to be, um, these were intended to be shorts. It wasn't like someone just cut them. Um, so I believe they have a, a tag in here with the style number. Uh, the year that it was made has kind of rubbed off, but um, I do love picking up plus size. I love picking up Torrid and these were only $4.99. So I wanted to give them a shot. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and let me know down below what items you would have picked up or what your favorite item that I picked up was. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.